Hello, y'all. I'm here today with an empties video, actually a really big one because I've been saving these empties for a long time. Let's get into it. been a minute since I filmed um I explained it in my last video which I haven't posted yet so I feel a little out of touch with keeping y'all updated but if y'all want to see me more day to day make sure to check me out on IG and TikTok and Twitter I'm posting something on one of them every day but let's get into one of my favorite things to do in empties I don't know if they're old school but I feel like you know they're a good way for me to share my opinion on a lot of things in a way that makes sense to me. So let's get into it. This will be in a particular order. I'm just gonna be digging in the bag. I should have my trash can right next to me so I can finally, I'm trying to do this for my mom gets here and she's like, why you got all that stuff? Let's, let's record and let's remove. So first up I have two candles. I think I've talked about this one before. It's called Beloved or I wanna say Beloved. <laughs> Um, by Cozy Wicks. It's a patchouli and sandalwood and vanilla. And something about this, something about this is really good. It's one of my favorites from the brand. The last I checked, I think they took a, they were taking a break for personal reasons, but it's a Black woman owned brand. Check them out. Yeah. They also have wooden wicks if you're into that. I'm not, but, and they have a lot more sense when, when they open back up. We also have a Forever Mood candle, which, you know what? I found it in a moving box and then I got excited, but then it was empty. So I'm like, why, why did, why, why do I have this? But it's Heartbreaker. Top five from the brand. I, I don't know what the top five are, but I'm going to say this and the one that comes with it. Uh, well, there are three that come with it, but something about champagne, something. These, those two, some of my favorites from the brand. This is really good. It smells juicy, romantic, but vibrant. Try it. This one's not actually empty, but I wanted to show it to you. I finished a bottle of Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic Curl Stimulator. Uh, one of my hairdressers told me Basically, she uses it as, um, she uses this and then she uses a harder gel on top of it. So I've never used this by itself. So I don't really know what it does, but I know she told me to use it. So that's what I'm doing. But it has aloe vera, marshmallow, and nettle. And I like, I like aloe vera and marshmallow, kind of those goopy consistencies on my hair. So I'm gonna keep buying it. This was a declutter um, from Nivea, their in shower body lotion. So I've had one of these before and I said I wasn't going to buy it again because uh, it does make your tub really slippery. The tub in this apartment has more of a grip, so it's OK, but I don't know what's been happening. But I put it on and you can almost you can see the layer on top of my skin like it turns white and I have to it doesn't rub in but I have to scrape it off with my nails because it doesn't rinse off either. I don't know if it's something in the temperature in this apartment or something going on, but it's very odd. And I honestly, I feel like if you have very dry skin, just go on and get some lotion. <laughs> just, just get some lotion. I don't know about this. We just have some face towelettes, the ones from Burt's Bees, the micellar ones. I usually buy the sensitive kind, but they were out of them. And these were, these were just as good. I still prefer the sensitive ones, but I like these as a makeup wipe. You know, they say you're not supposed to use them, but it's better than nothing. Sometimes all you got is better than nothing. So I like to use the makeup wipe when I need to. I will also pack these when I go on trips because I... I bring a lot of my stuff on trips, but I'm not at the point where I'm bringing my whole arsenal yet. And that's really both for skincare and makeup. These Peace Out Acne and Dark Spot Dots. Um, I can't really speak on the Dark Spot one, but I like the Acne one. They have salicylic acid in them. 
basically when I use these, I feel like they're doing a little something. And I usually use these if I have more of a prominent bump, like, you know, you just got one bump that's really sticking out. I'll put these on there. You're supposed to leave them on for several hours or overnight. And I did buy another box because I feel like they, they do a little something. I also emptied one of my favorite deep conditioners from TGIN, the Honey Miracle Hair Mask. Now this is what you need. If your hair is like dry, brittle, crispy, this is a heavy duty deep conditioner. It's got a lot of oils, it's got honey, it's got aloe. It does have dimethicone in it. Um, mm, I care a little bit, but not a whole lot. Uh, but it does have a lot of slip. Well. A, at least a decent amount of slip and I ended up using this. I had a whole episode with my hair and it was big, really because I needed a trim but my hair was knotted up and this helped me survive because I have changed my hair routine where you know I kind of forgot I looked like this. <laughs> I was doing something else. Um, I don't deep condition every week like I used to. Now I pretty much only do it um, if I just feel like my hair needs it or I just took out of I just took out a style that I've had in a few weeks, usually then, or maybe after, if I got my hair pressed, I haven't done that in all, actually a while. So I use it more as needed. I've gotten my hair under control. I've started using, you know what? I am plagued with gnats. I, I see one. Uh, I started following that three-step method, no oils, butters. I didn't really keep track of the journey though. I should have, because that would have been a good video. So I can't really tell you exactly how long I've been doing it. And you know, like, oh, by this month I noticed that. But since I've stuck to it, because at first, the, like the first wash day, the first couple, I had to trust the process. But now I washed my hair in, I washed in shampoo. I shampooed and conditioned and detangled this morning actually in about 50 minutes in the shower. And then I twisted my hair up in about 20. One of my favorite brands for body wash is Method. I don't think I like this scent though, Berry Balance. I wouldn't, for me, I wouldn't get this again. I like the one that's, I wanna say it's something about a cashmere, a coconut, cocoa butter, shea butter, something like that. And there's another one called Peace Rose. I actually like the green one too. Okay, I like a lot of them. I just, this was not my favorite one, but I actually, I love this body wash. I just picked up that scent that I can't remember <laughs> and just used it today. So yeah, very much recommend method because it's not too drying, but you do feel clean, but it's not too much, but you feel clean. I feel so free. I can talk as much as I want on here, you know, on TikTok. I gotta, I gotta, I, I, the best I can do is three minutes depending on the subject, but it's so hard. I finished up an Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I liked this when I was a beginner makeup user. Um, I'm not great at makeup now, but I've been doing it for a long time, I think. Uh, and I, I would still recommend this. It's a good setting spray, but I don't know if it's the one. I was hoping I could sit the bag in my lap without too much noise. Olay rinse off body conditioner, like my 20th one. I've talked about it before. We don't even have to do it again because I love it. Oh, from Necessaire, the body lotion. I probably talked about this before because I've had a few. I really like this. I feel like my skin does feel more nourished, hydrated. Like it feels better when I use this. Um, and it's a lightweight, it's lightweight, but it's also hydrating, but it, you know, absorbs. So some lotions, I feel like I have to sweat them right off. <laughs> but this one, this one's not like that. This one's really good. I just kind of pick these up every once in a while. You know, as I try new things and go back to old things I like, but I want to also continue to have opinions, but to follow that up. So I think I bought a body set. That's what I did. The body wash, it's also really good. Um, it's nourishing, has vitamins and things in it. It's cleaning, you know, not stripping, but you feel clean. And I definitely recommend this as well. I have a, it's not a sample size, a mini of the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. So I really like this and I would definitely use it again. Do, do you need to pay for this? I don't know. And then there's a little bit, but this is pretty much all 
the little rose stuff is kind of clumping up. I I liked this, but I, what would I say? I didn't feel, you know, the immediate hydration that you feel from some toners. This one felt good, but it didn't feel great. So I would definitely use it again. And I probably will buy another set like this, but you know, I don't know what this costs, but I know it's not the most affordable one. Dove deodorant. I just buy different ones. Um, usually something that says advanced care. I don't know if that makes a difference, but I feel like a lot of us, we just stick to the same deodorant brand or maybe that's just me, but I've been wearing Dove a lot. I did go through a stint of trying natural deodorants for about two years. I also tried Dove Zero, but I'm back to Dove. I'm starting to feel a little out of breath. <laughs> This is from Rovectin Clean, the Lotus Water Cream. This is a really good moisturizer. It's lightweight, but packs a punch with hydration. It's a, what I call it, a gel cream? Maybe a gel cream. It's really light cons consistency. It's not a, it's not like a lotion or anything, but I, I've had a few of these. I think this is really nice, especially in um, the warmer weather months. But you do have to buy it. I don't know this for sure because I've always bought mine from a Korean site. I don't know if you have to do that. Another Olay body conditioner, per. Holla at me, Olay. This is from Olaplex. It's a sample of their leave-in. I like this. I don't know. That's what it is, right? Leave-in reparative styling cream um speeds up blow dry time while smoothing that might be what i would repurchase it for as whatever i put on my hair before blow drying but as far as a leave-in i really don't use those anymore either unless i have a purpose so i do like this and i do recommend it if you have you know a need for it here's a mini honey pot wash it's a female i guess hygiene wash I still really like these. Um, I know a whole scandal thing happened, but excuse me. <sighs> At least the ones I still have are from before that. So I, you know, I usually buy from their website and I'll just buy a few. So I haven't run out of those yet. So we'll see if anything changes for me. But for right now, I still like it. And I like that they have these minis so, you know, you can take it on the go. And if I can be real, let me be real, because I bought this because it has colloidal silver in it. And, you know, I know a lot of doctors say you don't need any particular wash, just use water. And I hear you, but there was a time a few years ago where I was getting BV kind of often. And I don't know what was going on, but I started doing some research and, you know, do your own research. But one of the things that came up was colloidal silver. So I had used um, a feminine wash from Nini Femme Health. And I also tried out this one. I like them both. And I feel like since I've been using this, I haven't had a problem. So I don't know. I don't know if it's junk science or what, but I'm not telling you what to do either. I'm just saying that's why I buy it. And I feel like it, I guess it's doing something. From the lip bar, we have their two-in-one brow gel and pencil. I like this and I would use it again, but I probably... It's not on my first list to repurchase. It's cute. It's cute, but it's I. Right. But it is quite affordable. So this is my old toothbrush from Quip. If you haven't heard of them, they do, it's electric toothbrushes, but this one's used, but it looks like a normal toothbrush. It's just, um, it does vibrate. I don't know. The dentist say my teeth look good, so I guess, you know, it's working. I I just got rid of this one because they had, they came up with a pink one and I wanted the pink one. But uh, it's also, it's a subscription service as well. So you buy the toothbrush and then they'll send you every three months a new battery, a new brush head. And if you, they have other things as well, like mouthwash, uh, floss, etc. So that could also be sent on your subscription plan if you wanted to. So I guess I'll put my link down below. I got a little referral link, so I'm minus well. Because as of right now, um, so I had signed up for Amazon's program, but nobody used my link, so they kicked me out. <laughs> 
And I don't know, maybe I can reapply. I, I haven't decided because I have another video that I haven't edited and it's full of Amazon products. And of course I would like to use the links, but we'll see, we'll see. This is a mini Rare Beauty mascara. I actually have the mascara on right now. I think it's a really good one. It's a really good one, like top five um, for sure. And I like the mini sizes when I can get them because, you know, mascara can get a little, if you have it for too long, then of course, if you're trying multiple ones and you're not using it all the time, you know, I like having a mini if I can get it. I like this. I was like, did I, did I not already do this? I have another unnecessary body wash. This one's in eucalyptus because they accidentally sent me this one. Um, and I told them and they just sent me the scent free one for free, which was nice. I tend to use a lot of scent free products. Every once in a while, I'll get tempted by something with scent, but I usually use scent free things because I have, I don't know if I would say my skin's sensitive, but I have had eczema. I have had I don't even know when it went away, but I used to have all kinds of rashes on my chest and stuff. So I try not to do too much and just stick to the perfume for my scent. This I'm just getting rid of because I know I'm not about to use it. Um, it's the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In. Back in the day, I really liked this, but like I said, I don't use leave-ins anymore and I don't see me using this and I bought this years ago probably, so. If you open up your products, they do expire. They expire. If it, certain things I'm not gonna get rid of, but just FYI. Oh, this, I'm actually getting rid of a couple things from this brand, um, well, hold on. It's from Butter Me Up Goods. This lotion, it doesn't look finished because it's kind of coating the bottle, but it is finished. Um, this one's unscented, but whatever uh, butter, whatever oil, butter, is their base. To me, it smells really good. It smells like a cocoa butter, cashmere type of vibe. Yeah. So I could, I just couldn't squeeze no more out of the bottle. But I have a couple other creams and lotions and things from them that are old. So I think I'm going to declutter. But I would have an issue with them uh, sometimes. It wasn't consistent product to like, they had a lotion, they had a body cream, and they had a body butter. And sometimes the body cream would be thinner than the lotion or the lotion would be thicker. The body butter would be different. I didn't know what I was going to get. So, yeah. But a lot of their scents, they're actually heavily scented. So if you like big scents, they're a great option. Like, you're, you, they're going to smell you. There was one lotion in particular. I remember everywhere I went, someone was like, what is that? And I was, I don't like my scents to be that loud. You know, I'm more of a... If you're right here, yes, yeah, smell me, but I don't want to walk in the room and <laughs> I'm noticed, but I know some people do like that. So I will shout them out for that. Um, I'm pretty, I think they're black owned as well. I have another body wash from Neutrogena, the body clear one. I like to try out different body washes that have salicylic acid. If I remember, I like to use them maybe a couple times a week, especially for, um, if you have big thighs and you have inner thigh, if you have inner thighs, if they have, um, I don't know, ingrowns, bumps, you like bumps basically. I feel like when I consistently use a salicylic acid body wash, I don't really notice them anymore. So tip. This I'm also just going to declutter. It's from Pattern. It's their heavy conditioner and this thing is thick. Even though I have type 4 hair, I don't really like thick products. Um, I feel like because my hair is so dense, it's really hard to distribute them through my hair. So just putting this on was super difficult. Now, once the water hit it and I started detangling, it was actually really nice. Um, but it's for me, it's too hard to get on. And because it doesn't spread much, I end up using, I used actually at least three fourths of this when I probably didn't need that much. I just couldn't spread it. <laughs> From Fresh as well is their kombucha facial treatment essence. This I might have to splurge on. I can't say what it is, but I feel like whenever I use this, something about my face looks better. And I can't put my finger on it, but I notice it every time. So I might have to... I swear, every time the sale at Sephora comes around, my cart, you know, 20% off of 500 ain't enough. It ain't doing enough. I, something's got to give. And usually stuff like this, because this is a, 
I feel like this is like a splurge to feel good. It does do stuff for your face, but it's it's a little luxe treatment, you know. So I would like to get a full size of this though. Hey, fresh girl. From Raw Sugar, their moisture loving hand wash. I like their hand washes. I feel like, have I tried their body wash? I, I feel like I keep meaning to, but I don't, but I would, maybe I have. I have, I'm mixing them up with someone else. I have tried it and I did like it, yeah. This is the watermelon and fresh mint. Is this the one that smells? It smells kind of like candy. It has a strong scent, but I like the consistency. I don't like all hand soaps. I don't like ones that don't feel like your hands are clean, but I also don't like the ones that are basically stripping. Let's see, mother's train is arriving pretty soon, so let me hurry up. These, are these heavy or are these, are these empty? Well, they are empty, they're just heavy. <laughs> Um, they're both from Belief. Let's see. Oh, they're both the lip mask. I I guess I like them because I've used two in the time since my last empties video. It's kind of thick. Um, you know, that Vaseline texture, not quite, but something like that. But I feel like it does a little something, you know. I like a lot of Belief products in general. Hey, Belief. <laughs> I did have one more candle from Forever Mood called Dream Girl. I like that. I can't remember if this was a candle club scent. Sometimes I do those. Cause I feel like it was Dream Girl and Lover Boy. And when it's only two, I think it's the candle club. Anyways, it's a sweet, pretty scent. It feels like spring. I like it. I would, I would, I would get this again if I could. We have Glow Recipes Plump, Plump, Plum, Plump Hyaluronic Cream. Girl, Glow Recipes Plum, Plump Hyaluronic Cream. So this, even though it says cream, it's more of a gel cream. It's really lightweight. Um, if you've used their watermelon moisturizer, it's only just a little bit heavier than that one. It's super, I wouldn't even say gel cream, just gel. I mean gel i do like this and i would use it again uh it's not at the top of the list but i do think it's really nice if you've been wanting to try it i would recommend trying it but and they also have um they're refillable so you can just i'm having a moment but this little tub inside you can just throw that away and buy the tub again and keep the jar Maybe I'll put that to the side because I hadn't decided. And finally, from Innersense, it's their uh, hair bath, cream hair bath, shampoo. So I've been using Innersense products a lot because the stylist who dyes my hair put me on. So I use their hydrating cream bath, hair bath, and the hydrating cream conditioner, and their I Create Hold Gel. And so far, I'm really pleased. I think, I'll just review the whole thing. I really like the smell of the conditioner. It's kind of vanilla-y or something. That's the one, it smells good. And I think the, this one's more lavender-y. They have a whole thing about uh, just breathe in and relax is the brand, it's pretty chill. The only thing I don't like, if they happen to see this is, the pump on the conditioner is super annoying. It's it's like it's shorter than this and it also doesn't deliver that much product. So each pump is just like a smidge. And you know, with curly hair, pump, pump, pump. So, you know, I'm just getting finger fatigue trying to cover my hair and conditioner and I would rather it had a top like this. And will this top fit that? Cause I might, I might have to put that on my conditioner. But yeah, the pump, the pump ain't pumping. It needs to be like this pump if I pushed it all the way down, a whole glob would come out. But you know, you can control, press a little bit. If you press it all the way down, you'll get a glob and I need me a glob. Okay guys, I, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but oh the well. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I don't know how to wrap up anymore, oh my gosh. If you like the video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and come find me on my other socials because I, I'm, I, I'm a busy girl, okay? I'm coming back to YouTube for sure, but right now I'm just a little frazzled to commit. But sometimes I got stuff to say. Anyways, 
I will see y'all in the next one, whenever that is. Bye.